<laughs> so what deck are you playing? I'm playing a 60 card stun deck. 60 card stun deck. So let's see the deck. All right. Well, here first we have a uh, three banisher. Uh, this guy stops a lot of decks like E Dragons, Bujins, Dark Worlds, and Zectors, you know, all of them. And we have three more banishers, Banisher of the Light. Uh, since Macro and uh, Defender got hit to one, I decided to play these guys today, and it's working pretty well so far. Uh, Triple Fossil Dyna. Uh, this card stops special summons, and these guys know a lot of decks today's special summon. Uh, Tusuki Yomi. This card is a, versatile, a versatility card. It allows me to reuse my snowman ears to pop their guys. And I, usually monsters nowadays have low defense, so I flip them over and attack over, over them. And Grammel, because, yeah, bounce. Jogan to stop more special summons. And it wipes the field by just discarding one card. And of course, uh, Triple Marshmallow to stall out and inflict some damage along the way. Uh, one Morphine Jar in order to help deck them out. Because, yeah, because mo most decks nowadays run 40 or 41. One cards. Yeah. And here we have a uh, three messenger piece. This card stops attacks. Self-explanatory. Uh, triple duality to help uh, look through your deck. Triple MSTs to stop those decrees, those imperial iron walls. Uh, pre pretty much everything that could stop this deck. Mm -hmm. And here we have the infamous six cents. Uh, you call five and six. Roll. Yeah. I usually change this if. Uh, what, I think it's MST because um, there's really no point of this card in the deck besides drawing. Uh -huh. Macro for more banishing power. Uh, bottomless, monster removal, as well as compulse. Both of these got hit to one by the ban list, so I had to resort to other things, such as uh, 2D Prison. Mm -hmm. And along with 2D Prison, I have 2 Mirror Force to stop attacks as well. And then we have Triple Dark Bribes. Uh, these stops traps and spells, and then I also run triple star roads to stop the black roses and e dragons or dark holes or whatever it comes up my way. Uh -huh. Then I run triple scrap iron scarecrow in order to negate attacks. Usually, because my opponent will only have one monster out or two monsters out at most, I can use these uh, infinitely in order to stop my opponent's attacks. Just in case the messenger piece doesn't work or my wall of ruling light goes away. Uh -huh. I run. I'm running triple metal reflex slime. As you guys know, this card is a three grand beater. Uh, well, not beater, but defender. And I can use this, use two of these to make Gustav max if I'm in a bind. Uh, Wall of Ruin Light is a card that allows me to stop a lot of attacks and sits on board because I run two fake traps. Uh, fake traps allows me to defend myself against cards like EEV, MST, Black Rose, all the cards that can destroy my trap cards. And these three can also help stop a lot of destruction as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot, because of Imperial Custom, my Vanity's Emptinesses will not be destroyed if something were to happen to uh, one of my other cards. And also with Imperial Custom, I can defend with Metal Reflex Slime as well. And of course, uh, Triple Safe Zone to round things out. It, safe Zone helps protect my cards and monsters from being destroyed or being targeted. And with Imperial Custom, it's even harder. And with Fake Trap, it's even harder to destroy the monsters themselves. It's super hard. Yeah, yeah. And so here we move on to the sideboard. Uh, I run sh Double Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for Insectors and Dark Worlds. Uh, normally, I don't really need to side into these, but it's just more hate. Just in case if I do. And of course, uh, two Light Imprisoning Mirrors. Uh, light storms. I, again, I don't really need to side into these, but it's more hate just in case if something happens. Uh, soul drain. This stops cards like E dragons a little. Uh, basically, any cards that activate in a graveyard, but they don't really have a graveyard, so this is more like a fail safe. Uh, zombie worlds. Uh, my biggest weakness is monarchs actually, and these help stop monarchs from being summoned onto the board. Uh, double ghost match. This is another E dragon hater. Um, as you can see, most of my monster lamp are lights. Banisher, banisher, banisher. Uh, a water here and there, but... And marshmallow. So I can play Ghost Match pretty effectively, and it can help stop spam as well. Uh -huh. And here we have Triple Necro Valley. This is for when I play against Infernities or Bujins. Since they rely on the graveyard heavily, I can stop them from accessing the graveyard. And of course we have a Triple Morphin Joy number 2. Um, games 2 and 3, I want to mill them out as fast as possible and reset their field if they spam too much. And with this card, usually they put in Trap Stun or World Decree, so this helps me stall out the game in order to get to my resources that I need to uh, survive and hopefully win.
Yes. Right. And for the extra deck, we have two Fortune Tune. This is the MVP of the deck, since um, this card cannot be targeted. Uh, every standby phase is gain 500, so this is a really good card in, in order for me to win in time. Um, when this card would be destroyed, I can detach one instead, so it's sort of like Zen Mains. And when this card is actually destroyed and sent to the graveyard, I can recycle level 3's back into my deck, like Morphin Dark number 2, for example. Mm -hmm. um, then I have double Zen Mains just in case if there's a Decree on board and I don't have MST. I usually go into this before I go into this, because uh, with this, there's a lot of cards that can't actually get over this. So, so yeah. Um, next up is one Mellow Melody. This card can attack twice and gets under Messenger of Peace. Uh, Axe Golem, I play this against Exodia because uh, Hope for Escape is one of their main draw engines. Uh, then I have Gugu Brilliant. This beefs up my monster's attack points if I want to swing. Uh, Conceller Hi Yates. Um, this card allows me to switch your monster to defense mode. And I just figured out today that I can actually make Ptolemy M7 with this, so I'm gonna run that card in the future. Mm -hmm. um, temp tempo to uh, detach their XYZ stuff. A levy here beca uh, because I banish so much, I can use this to revive my marshmallows and my other cards like Faustine or Jaugen. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, Max. Uh, because I run Mellow Reflex Slimes, I can uh, go into this and burn for 4,000 if possible. Uh, Levi Leviathan, I'll probably replace this with um, M7 uh, after I get one. Uh, but this is a beater just in case I need to get over things. And because I run Triple Starlight Road, I run Triple Stardust Dragon. And this gives me one more negation and just, you know, yeah. Alright, so uh, what's good about the deck? Uh, it, the good thing about the deck is it's not very aggressive in terms of you don't really need, need to attack and it's pretty straightforward of how to run it. Um, and it's also 60 cards so you, you can't really deck out. Right. So. What, what's bad about the deck? What's bad about the deck? Okay, um, because of the fact that it's 60 cards, you have to play really differently. And a lot of the times, because you run so many traps, traps still will kill you. Roll the crew will kill you if you don't have the proper setup. Um, yeah, roll the crew. Oh, an EEV. Uh -huh. EEV. Uh, you, you can play around it because you have triple star light road and have so many continuous trap cards. But those big three are the killers of the deck. What would you change about the deck? Um, well, one of the changes was uh, moving Leviathan Dragon to M7. Mm -hmm. Another version of this deck I am currently testing is Lava Golem. Um, with Lava Golem, Tour Guide, and Tour Bus, I, and Tsukiyomi, I have an infinite amount of uh, monster removal by tributing my most mo monsters. And with Pinsar told me M7, I can recycle the Lava Golems back into my hand and tribute them off. So that's another concept I'm thinking of. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? Um, yeah. Um, Char Charette, I'm actually trying to represent them. Uh -huh. uh, it's an organization uh, to help Jewish families fight against breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Uh